the animal kingdom is home to some of the most venomous creatures on Earth, and snakes often top the list. These slithering reptiles have evolved over millions of years to become some of the most efficient predators in the wild. Their venom, a complex cocktail of proteins and enzymes, can immobilize prey in seconds and deter potential threats. Two such contenders are the inland taipan, found in Australia's arid interior, known for its reclusive nature and incredible potency of its venom, and the Belcher's sea snake, a denizen of the Indo-Pacific's warm waters, which is often considered one of the most venomous sea snakes in the world. Both species possess venom capable of delivering a fatal bite, but their venom serves different purposes. The inland taipan's venom is designed to quickly subdue small mammals, while the Belcher's sea snake's venom is more suited to paralyzing fish. Their strategies for survival differ dramatically. The inland taipan, also known as the fierce snake, relies on its speed and precision to hunt and defend itself. It strikes with incredible accuracy, delivering venom that can kill a human in under an hour. While the inland taipan is renowned for its potent venom, it is also known for its shy and elusive nature, rarely coming into contact with humans. The Belcher's sea snake's venom is nothing to scoff at either. This snake, often found in shallow coastal waters, uses its venom to paralyze fish, making them easy to capture and consume. Both species have evolved to thrive in their respective environments, showcasing the incredible adaptability of snakes. The inland taipan's desert habitat requires it to be a master of conserving energy and moisture, while the belcher's sea snake's aquatic environment demands excellent swimming capabilities and the ability to hold its breath for extended periods. Their venom is a testament to their predatory prowess, a key factor in their survival and success as species. The complexity and efficiency of their venom make them fascinating subjects of study for scientists and herpetologists. Understanding these snakes, their venom, and their behavior offers a glimpse into the fascinating world of venomous creatures. It highlights the delicate balance of nature and the intricate ways in which these animals have adapted to their environments, ensuring their place in the ecosystem. Venom, a complex cocktail of toxins, is a crucial tool for both snakes. This potent mixture is not just a weapon, but a sophisticated biochemical arsenal that has evolved over millions of years. Each component of the venom serves a specific purpose, from immobilizing prey to aiding in digestion. The inland taipan, also known as the fierce snake, boasts the most toxic venom among terrestrial snakes. Its venom contains a blend of neurotoxins, hemotoxins, and myotoxins, making it incredibly efficient at incapacitating its prey. With an LD50 value, a measure of venom potency, estimated to be incredibly low, it takes only a minuscule amount to cause fatal damage. This means a tiny amount of its venom can be lethal. Just a single bite from the inland taipan can deliver enough venom to kill multiple adult humans. The venom acts swiftly, targeting the nervous system and causing paralysis, respiratory failure, and eventually death if left untreated. The Belcher's sea snake, while not as potent as the inland taipan, still possesses venom many times more toxic than a cobra's. This sea snake's venom is a powerful neurotoxin, designed to quickly immobilize its prey. Despite its potency, the Belcher's sea snake is relatively shy and rarely poses a threat to humans. Its venom, however, is designed to work quickly on fish, its primary prey. The neurotoxins in the venom disrupt the nervous system of the fish, causing rapid paralysis and making it easier for the snake to consume its meal. This efficiency is crucial for survival in the competitive underwater environment. In humans, Belcher's sea snake venom primarily affects the muscles causing paralysis and potentially respiratory failure. While bites are rare, they can be extremely dangerous. Immediate medical attention is essential to counteract the venom's effects. Anti-venom and supportive care can save lives, but the best defense is awareness and caution when in habitats where these snakes are found. Despite their deadly reputations, both snakes exhibit a degree of reluctance when it comes to biting humans. The inland taipan, often described as shy and reclusive, prefers to avoid confrontation. When threatened, it will often coil tightly, raise its head, and hiss as a warning. Belcher's sea snakes, known for their docile nature, are remarkably tolerant of human interaction. Divers and fishermen often encounter these snakes in their nets, and bites are relatively rare. This placid temperament is a testament to their evolutionary adaptation to a marine environment where conserving energy is crucial.
the inland taipan and belcher sea snake exhibit physical adaptations that reflect their respective habitats. The inland taipan, typically measuring around 6 feet in length, is slender and agile, perfectly suited for navigating the cracks and crevices of its arid environment. Its coloration varies depending on the season, becoming darker in cooler months to absorb more heat. Belcher's sea snakes, on the other hand, are highly adapted to life in the ocean. Their flattened, paddle-like tails provide excellent propulsion through the water, while their small heads and streamlined bodies allow them to navigate coral reefs and hunt fish with ease. Section 5. A Hypothetical Showdown While a real-life encounter between an inland taipan and a belcher sea snake is highly improbable due to their vastly different habitats, it's an intriguing thought experiment. The inland taipan, also known as the fierce snake, resides in the arid regions of Australia, where it hunts small mammals and birds. On the other hand, the belcher's sea snake is found in the warm coastal waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, preying on fish and eels. These two snakes, each a master of its own domain, would never naturally cross paths. In a hypothetical scenario, the inland taipan, with its lightning-fast strike and incredibly potent venom, might have the upper hand. The venom of the inland taipan is considered the most toxic of any snake, capable of causing death within hours if untreated. Its precision and speed in delivering a bite are unmatched, making it a formidable opponent on land. The inland taipan's venom contains a complex mix of neurotoxins, hematoxins, and myotoxins, which can cause paralysis, internal bleeding, and muscle damage. However, the belcher's sea snake, despite its less potent venom, should not be underestimated. While its venom is not as deadly as that of the inland taipan, it is still highly toxic, and can cause severe symptoms in humans, including muscle pain, paralysis, and respiratory failure. The Belcher's sea snake is also known for its ability to stay submerged for long periods, allowing it to hunt efficiently in its aquatic environment. Its agility in the water and ability to deliver multiple bites could potentially turn the tables. The Belcher's sea snake is incredibly agile and can maneuver quickly to avoid predators or catch prey. Its slender body and paddle-like tail make it an excellent swimmer capable of rapid bursts of speed. In a confrontation, the Belcher's sea snake could use its agility to outmaneuver the inland taipan, delivering multiple bites before the land-dwelling snake could react. Ultimately, such a confrontation would depend on numerous factors, including the individual snake's size, temperament, and the environment in which the encounter takes place. The inland taipan's advantage lies in its venom potency and striking speed, while the belcher's sea snake's strength is its agility and ability to deliver multiple bites. In the end, this hypothetical showdown serves as a fascinating exploration of the unique adaptations and survival strategies of these two remarkable snakes. Section 6. Respecting Nature's Killers Both the inland taipan and the belcher's sea snake, while potentially deadly, are essential parts of their respective ecosystems. They play a crucial role in controlling prey populations and maintaining a healthy balance within their environments. It's crucial to remember that these snakes are not inherently aggressive and only bite as a last resort. Respecting their space and understanding their behavior can help mitigate the risk of encountering these venomous creatures. Education and awareness are paramount in fostering coexistence with these fascinating and often misunderstood reptiles. Section 7. Conservation Status – A Looming Threat While both species are currently listed as least concerned by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, their populations are facing increasing threats. Habitat destruction, climate change and persecution due to human-wildlife conflict are all factors contributing to their decline. Protecting their habitats, promoting responsible wildlife tourism and educating communities about the importance of snake conservation are essential steps in ensuring the survival of these magnificent creatures for generations to come. Section 8. Conclusion, A World of Wonders. The Inland Taipan and the Belcher's Sea Snake, two snakes with deadly reputations, represent the incredible diversity and adaptability of the natural world. While their venom and predatory prowess might inspire fear, it's their remarkable adaptations and important ecological roles that truly deserve our admiration. By learning about these snakes and their kin, we gain a deeper appreciation for the delicate balance of nature and the importance of preserving Earth's biodiversity.